Sup, y'all, bring guys another video. O'Hara Davis versus Ismael Barroso. Who do y'all think is gonna win this fight? Uh, before I get to talking about who I think will win, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, to those who don't know, uh, O'Hara Davis and Ismael Barroso will be fighting this uh, Friday on the 26th of November, November 26, 2021 over in dubai yes they'll be fighting all the way in dubai uh wba gold super lightweight title will be on the line in this fight um so keep that in mind uh the fight will be shown live on espn plus here in the states so tune into espn plus if you wanna see it so uh yeah uh ohara davis to those who don't know who he is from the uk 22 and 2 16 wins coming by way of knockout tko uh, two times the only loss was against Miguel Vasquez back in 2019 and Josh Taylor back in 2017. Since the, uh, no, actually, he he uh, lost to uh, Jack Catterall, not Miguel Vasquez. He beat Miguel Vasquez by on points and uh, he lost to Jack Catterall. So, yeah, uh, said the wrong name. Since the uh, Jack Catterall fight, he's won four fights in a row against Vasquez. Uh, Logan Yoon, Jeff Ofori, and Tyrone McKenna. Uh, this will be his first fight this year in 2021. Uh, he hasn't fought in a while. Uh, vacant WBA gold belt will be on the line. So, um, so yeah, the, it's a vacant. Uh, it's it's a stupid belt. Uh, it doesn't really mean much to be honest. Um, looking at the rankings, he's ranked number 10 under the WBA and number 11 by the WBC. His opponent, Ismael Barroso, is a 38-year-old fighter from Venezuela, 23-3, and two draws, 21 wins coming by way of Nakar TKO. I'm going to be honest, I thought Barroso was done, uh, but he came back in 2019 and fought uh, Ibs Ulysses Jr. and won that fight by unanimous decision. Uh, prior to that, he got knocked out by Anthony Crawler to in 2016. He came back and defeated Fidel, uh, Fidel Maldonado Jr., then he lost to Isa Chaniev and Batir Akhmedov. I thought after the Akhmedov knockout, I thought he was done. But somehow here he is, currently in a three-fight winning streak, fighting O'Hara Davis over in Dubai. So um, so yeah, and actually Barroso is highly ranked under the WBA. He's ranked number two under the WBA at 140 pounds. So he's up there in the rankings. And when it comes to talking about who will win, styles make fights. O'Hara Davis has... Uh, more of a boxing style. Um, I think he will win this fight, but I'm going to be honest. I won't be surprised if Barroso gets to him and wins a close decision fight. Um, based off his work rate and activity. Uh, you know, he fought he fought once this year back in January, so he's been more active. In comparison to O'Hara Davis, who hasn't fought in more than a year, like when he last fought back in September of last year. Uh, I think ring rats might come into play, so but also definitely has a very very good chance of pulling off the big win here. It will be close though. I I think it will be close. Um, I think it will go the distance. Uh, I'm still leaning towards Davis, like 55-45 split in favor of Davis. It will be a close fight, seven rounds to five in favor of Davis. But with that being said, I won't be surprised if Barroso pulls it off. I'm just picking Davis because of the styles. Um, you know him being more of a boxer. So. We'll see. We'll see how it will play out. Looking forward to it. Again, live on ESPN Plus. So tune into ESPN Plus uh, this Friday. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what time because I'm, I'm in Dubai. So it might be earlier uh, sometime during the day on Friday. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.